Hi, Jody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Trans West. Come on in. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at Trans West in Frederick, Colorado. I'm here to show you a beautiful 2018 Dutch Star. Uh, this is a pretty amazing unit. I look forward to really kind of walking you through. We've got a lot of cool special features. So prepare to get engaged and take a look at some things that you don't see a lot. Uh, this coach has got just under 12,000 miles on it. It was traded in here where it was purchased originally. It was traded in on a 2021 Essex. Uh, so needless to say, they were very happy with the product. Just wanted something that's maybe a little more uh, length. It's about 45 feet versus this 43 foot coach. Um, so I look forward to showing it to you today. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. And this is unit 5U201. 504 again 5U201504 it's listed online for $329,000 329,980 uh, the original list price of this coach was 463,385 again 463,385 uh, come on back let's start from the from the rear I think that that's always a good place to go um, one of the things that's super nice about this RV is it's just lovely uh, from a decoration standpoint. Um, it's got this Bermuda uh, matte finished maple cabinetry um, and it's got a really cool layout. It's a bath and a half model. Uh, dual sinks. So I'll kind of pan over and show you this restroom. Uh, this is model number 4327. Again 4327 is the floor plan. Um, and again this is a 2018 Dutch Star. It's a tag axle. It's just over 43 feet long and um, it's got a lot of nice features. So I'm going to show you inside of these medicine cabinets. You've got a ton of room here. Uh, conveniently stowed away, you've got a place to plug in your hair dryer, um, even charge your cell phone, whatever you might want to do, where you can close up. Really nice sconces, lots of mirror space. So great layout there. Uh, towels uh, or uh, washcloths and towel racks on both sides along with this really nice dark finish on these cool sinks. Uh, the coach is winterized so I can't show you water right now. Um, and then here in the back one of my favorite features is this enormous closet. So we're going to start off and kind of pan in first of all tons of hanging space, a ton of shelf space but off on the right hand side you'll find that not only do you have these great overhead shelves and shelves going down but below that, you also have Newmark's, uh, Newmark's uh, trademark. They offer a safe in their coach. And then that's one of the extra chairs as well as one of the extra leafs. And then here in the center, you have some nice storage place for your shoes. And if you take a look, Jody, just show these books. Um, anytime I see someone who comes in with really cool key tags and all of the books in plastic and they have all the original ornamentals, I know that they've taken really good care of the coach. And then pan over here to the left and you can see that there's some additional storage. What's nice about that is there's two ways to access that storage. So I'm here on this other door. So you've got tons of access space there uh, for towels, t-shirts, jeans, whatever it might be that you have. Um, and you'll notice that we're in a cathedral ceiling. So with this cathedral ceiling, I'm, you know, I'm not hugely tall, but I'm not terribly short either. Um, you don't have to have a fantastic fan above your shower. You've got plenty of room. Uh, really nice Dometic porcelain toilets. We do have our escape hatch here. Uh, you've got your push button flush right here. Uh, you also have uh, vents in the rear cabin so you can just twist these to open the windows if you will. Kind of nice that. You have some ventilation coming through the back of the coach. And then you'll notice, I'm going to go into the shower, Joe. Do you have room for me? Is that okay? So let's just take a quick look. Um, so this is a really big shower. Um, so you've got a nice rain head, but if you are one of those tall people that needs to have something to be able to wash your hair, for instance, uh, you've got a little wand. And then also, we love these seats. Um, they, I can't speak highly enough of them. They really make a big difference for women uh, that need to shave their legs, guys that need to wash their feet. They're just really nice to have. Um, and then I'm gonna show you, we didn't get all of the cabinet space. And some of these drawers, I mean, it's just such a luxury to have so much separation of space uh, for everybody. So if you have um, a lot of family members, for instance, 
you'll see that you can actually have enough room for everyone. And when I say a lot of family members, it's because there's a really cool special surprise in the front of this coach. But we'll get to that after we go through the bedroom. Uh, so on our way out, please note that we do have a robe hook. I think that that's super, super important. A little step down into our king bed. Um, this is a really nice layout. You've got cross ventilation. I love the headboard, really tastefully done. Um, the decorations in here are really, really uh, clutch. You know, I don't know that this 2018 came uh, equipped this way or if somebody came and bought this, but this is kind of a Newmark trademark pillow and it's just beautiful, uh, beautiful furniture. So I love their finishes. And then just to show you up above, you've got lots of storage capacity. Um, I know a lot of people are concerned about whether they can charge their phone or plug in a CPAP machine. You do have an outlet right here as well as storage. Uh, to keep any supplies that you might need so you have both usb and plugs there on your nightstands along with these really beautiful backlit sconces so quite lovely here um, and then if you just take a look at the finish um, i'm going to close this pocket door so you can see that you do have a lot of privacy available too so also a really nice uh, big entry uh, one of the things i wanted to show oh goodness is that we have this really large rug um, on the floor here. And I will roll this up because we are gonna slide the slides in for the video. But one of the things to note is look at how big this is. That means this is such a cavernous amount of space that you have here in your bedroom. So lots and lots and lots of room. Uh, you'll also notice that we have more wardrobe space here once again. Um, also plugs inside of the cabinet with overhead shelves, all of these all of these uh, little closets do have interior lighting. And then here on the left hand side, you can see the spec sheet for this coach. Kind of an interesting thing, everything that it goes into making a Nomar. But as you can see, you know, the wallpapers in the back of the cabinets as well. So just really nicely finished. And then let me go ahead and show you some of these drawers. So big, deep drawers. Also above that, a really nice uh, polished countertop with an emergency exit once again. So there's a few ways to exit this coach in an emergency. Uh, lots of LED lighting. So you got, you know, a really nice warm glow about this bedroom. Really, really well lit. Hardly feel like you're camping at all. Uh, you'll notice they have all of these little attachments that they use to make shelves throughout the unit. I did put some in the pantry so you can see those there. Um, and then once again, everything is going to have a light. So really, really nice feature. And then Jody, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and pull this bedroom in so we can show the full slide today. But while I'm doing that, if you want to turn around and show them that full length mirror behind you, go ahead, go ahead and get a glam shot for yourself. That would be fine. Yeah, so pretty cool there. There's the sneak peek of our best cameraman. Oh, and I might need to grab my coat. I'll trade places with you. It's chilly out here today. It looks nice, but I'll tell you, it's always sunny in Colorado, but it doesn't mean it's warm. Um, so one thing that we'll want to talk about too is take a look at these floors. So one of the things that's really nice is you'll notice right here, this is part of our slide, um, and you'll notice there's no carpet here. So the carpet that I have down here, I'll roll up in a minute, but this is uh, the hydraulic slide. So this slide, this coach has three slides. It's got one full wall slide, which is on hydraulic. So it actually lifts and comes in and then lifts and goes out and drops down. So it's really, really nice. Um, you don't have to have any carpet in this coach. You can literally avoid all of those carpet cleaning duties that you normally have to have. Jody, I'm gonna let you go ahead and come on out here. Okay, so let's start with a galley. So back towards the side of the kitchen. Um, one of the things I thought was really interesting about this RV is how much cabinet space you actually have. So this is just, for me, as somebody who sees this on a day-to-day -day basis, astounding. Wow, I mean, talk about a lot of room to store anything. I mean, I could put my, my paddle boards in that cabinet. <laughs> it's incredible. 
Um, so a lot of space. It's really funny. They have this large expanding cabinet shelf. Uh, they've got a number of these throughout the coach. They obviously made great use of all of the storage. Um, but that's not all you have. I mean, then you have another full pantry with all of these great slide outs. Um, now keep in mind, these slide outs are adjustable by height. So if you would like to put taller or shorter items, you can. Um, also note that we do have uh, an ice dispenser, water dispenser, uh, a full residential size refrigerator. So really nice galley here. Um, and before we get into the kitchen, I wanna go ahead and show you inside of this restroom. So Jody, go ahead and pan inside of the restroom. This is the half bath. Um, the half bath has a really beautiful vessel sink that you'll notice. Um, so that's cool. And it has uh, a lot of storage for towels. It also has a fantastic fan, lovely sconces, big medicine cabinet. Once again, ventilation with that window. Another Dometic toilet that's porcelain as well. So a ton of stuff here. I'll just pop in here now and just show you what everything looks like open. So lots of deep storage. I mean, really, really cool use of space by Newmar. Uh, the Dutch Star is year after year one of our best-selling models. Um, I love that you have a really clean and easy access to all of your fuse panels. It's well labeled. Um, once again, just, you know, Newmar is really second to none in the RV industry, um, especially with the acquisition of Tiffin by Thor. I mean, you really have one of the few companies out there that has been left on their own to continue to manufacture phenomenal merchandise. And this is something that we certainly do. Um, our, I think our partnership with Winnebago has been interesting because I know that they like to borrow technology from us, even though they're one of the giants. And the reason that is, is because we do things really, really well. Look how beautiful that faucet is. I mean, what a, I'd like to have that in my house personally. Um, absolutely beautiful. Now, something we haven't mentioned um, as we've been going through this RV is that there are heated floors. Um, so we have heated floors in the rest in the restroom. We also have heated floors in the bedroom, and we have heated floors here in the front of the coach. And then the other thing that we want to make sure we mention is that we have um, an access point here, so both a place to plug in your Dirt Devil extension, or you've got your kick plate there. The nice thing about that kick plate, of course, is that you can just sweep everything from these beautiful hardwood floors into that little compartment and it, enter, it empties underneath. Um, and that's going to bring us into really the main part of our galley here. This is a magnificent floor plan. So this again is the 4327. And one of the things that's super nice about this is the counter space. So not only do you have a really nice open entertainment area, you have a full uh, you've got a full sink, a, a stainless steel sink with a residential faucet. You have a bread storage bin here. Put these covers back on. So the amount of prep space you have here is just astronomical. Um, but yeah, so a little bread box, which is super nice. You close that up. You'll see once again, just amazing cabinet space, more of these shelves. I left those set up. I'm sure that's kind of how they used them when they were camping in this RV. These are the uh, shelf and tray for the uh, convection oven and the microwave. And then once again, just more cabinet space. Uh, please note that this is all carpet lined, which is so nice. One of the most amazing aspects of Newmars. You're, even these top cabinets are carpet lined and adjustable, so no rattles. And that's a really big deal. Um, I did have somebody in one of my videos recently ask me to show the um, the ceiling. So you got it's not a white; it's a kind of a cream color uh, padding on the ceiling, and then you've got these really nice vent covers that cover all of your air conditioning um, and heating uh, vents in the coach. Uh, this does have three air conditionings or air conditioners on it. They're 1,500 uh, heat pumps uh, by Penguin. Um, plenty of power to keep the coach really nicely cool or warm um, but so that was an ask in the last video I thought that was kind of important to cover and then here is gosh just a great place to keep wine bottles olive oil cooking supplies whatever it is that you might need um, conveniently located 
in a place that you don't have to go and repack and unpack because things are going to fall over. They're just nice. They're nicely sized storage bins with adjustable shelves. Um, and they really make great use of all of this space and still, even in these like little detail areas, really nice solid hinges, carpet lined finishes. And I know we mentioned this already, but you do have really big uh, convection and microwave oven located right above your true induction cooktop. It does have a, a fan, so you can ventilate above your cooking area. And it also has a light. But keep in mind with this true induction cooktop with Numar, you can take this outside. So if you're making something like fish or bacon in your coach and you don't want to take it or make it inside the coach, you can take this outside. Uh, you also have these two cutting boards. And I actually like this little separation that you have between here and your living quarters. So if you are cooking, you're not gonna splatter on the person sitting on the couch. Um, big drawers. One thing that you'll notice is missing is we've got all the remotes stashed away. Typically, you'll find them in our new RVs in that drawer. Uh, as you can see, you don't have to use that, that drawer for remotes. Kind of funny to see it something else. So once again, just lots of really good storage. And I mean, I don't know, I, I kind of feel like it's, how did they get so much more storage out of this RV than they do every other one? It's just amazing deep space. And then once again, really nice. I love this feature. This is great if you're doing dishes, you keep your sponges in here. And then in true Newmar fashion, of course, we always give you these nice pullouts so you have a place to put your trash can. So just really, really nicely finished um, cabinet space by this RV. Uh, this literally just came in. We were able to spray it off. So you're kind of seeing it in its virgin state. So this is before it's been through reconditioning. Uh, again, it was sold here new, and uh, we bought it back and traded it in for a really beautiful Essex. I'm sure you'll see that here in two or three years, so if you want to follow that same path, you can buy their next trade-in too. Um, for, I guess they'll have to go into a King Air next time, or maybe a Prevo. Uh, we are a Prevo dealership, so you know, don't, don't be afraid at the top of the ladder. We always have more. Uh, but anyway, so nice storage space here. Once again, window ventilation in the front here, lovely. Um, finish here on this Euro booth dinette. We have some more storage here underneath. And then I know we saw the chairs in the back. Jody, let's just go back here really quick. Got the carpet up on the bed, but I want to show them. Um, I forgot to talk about this. I think this is a big deal. Look at all of this storage. So there was one uh, chair in the back closet. Here's the other, but oh my gosh, you could put so many bins of shoes and like hiking gear, like whatever you need underneath this, this bed. It's just super cool and it's really easy to operate with that hydraulic, you know, hinge. Just a nice feature. Um, okay, so where are we at? We're here. Let's take a look here at our full extension. So this is, you can see you have enough room for six people. Uh, to sit here around the table for dinner. Now you're saying six people. Katie, what am I, where, where am I gonna keep six people? Well, let me show you. So this is really kind of an interesting feature. Um, so we have this really lovely living room. As you can see, big spacious couch, enough room for a lot of people to watch the television. I've got the televator up right now. I will show you what that looks like down with a push of a button. Um, and do keep in mind, this coach has the optional NCD shade package, so these are power shades. Uh, but once again, a nice big window. But let's say that you have a few extra guests with you, especially in the, let's just say the more petite sized guests. Where would you put all of the people? Well, let me show you, because I think this is really rather interesting. Um, we see this from time to time. I was wondering when I looked at this uh, MSRP, and just so you know, because we sold the coach here, I do have the original list. So if you'd like to see that uh, list of options, you're welcome to. Um, but this is one of Flex Steel's, uh, I'd say, best moments. I really like this a lot. I know there's a lot of pillows moving around here. We got a lot of pillows to move because we're going to do a whole bunch of transformation right now. Um, so we're gonna pull this little lever and lift this little button. That was as hard as it got, ready? 
there we go we're up um then i'm going to reach back here and lift this into place there we go so just up and down to drop that in i'll come in here a little twist of a button um so mom dad grandma grandpa whoever it is that buys this coach uh, this is not hard to do. I'm wearing a dress. I've got high heels on. A little bit weird, but I am working today. You know, it looks like I'm having fun and I'm camping in Colorado, but I'm actually at work. Um, but so, yeah, so I can do this in a dress and it's really simple. But look at this. <laughs> and I'm sorry I have to do this, but Jody, come on over. I am not in the slightest bit uncomfortable. So, you might have two adult children that want to go camping and maybe their brother and sister and they don't want to go sleeping next to their brother and sister. Great. They each can have their own room just like it was when they were little. Uh, no problem there. So pretty cool feature, but you think it can't get any better. It gets better. Let's talk about the next step. So now I'm going to come over here once again, nice and easy. Just lift and pull. Nightstand for you, anyone? Nightstand, yeah. Very cool. I'm not going to inflate the mattress, but I'll tell you once again, tons of room. If I can't fit three kids here and their mom and dad there, or two kids there and mom and dad here, I don't know what I can do because this is just amazing and keep in mind this has that kind of weird corner on the couch which is so nice to have and we're able to do that because we have this inflatable mattress so super super amazing amount of sleeping quarters in this RV um, if you're not like mind blown I'll just tell you I was I couldn't believe it um, whenever I come into these RVs the first thing I do is kind of poke my head around See what kind of care the previous owner took of the coach. This has been a really well taken care of coach. I feel like it's my job to be your eyes and ears. You know, when you're buying something used from our, a dealership, you want to have a, a relationship where you know you can trust the person who's helping you to look at it to tell you whether or not it's worth the drive. Um, this coach is absolutely 100% worth the drive. So let's go ahead and put our pillows back here. And I'm gonna show you once again how to go ahead and deconstruct this bedroom. Down on this side, really easy. Down on this side, once again, super simple lift, twist, and then just drop. And that is all of it. The big trick here is to put the, you wanna get this lock released so you can put the bed down. If you don't release the lock, the bed won't go down. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Um, and that's good, because you wouldn't want the bed going down anyway. You want it to lock into place, and it does. I can tell you from experience. So, okay, we just went camping. It's time to pack up in the morning and hit the road. Let's see how long it takes to put this all back together. I mean, I know that these videos aren't the shortest thing in the world, and it's because we're trying to give you a lot of information. Oh, and Jody, would you just show everybody? Um, I didn't put the, the Gerard awning uh, out today. We have two really large Gerard awnings. I really wanted to showcase uh, this three-piece awning set that we have, because if it's too windy, and you want to keep the sun out of your coach, you can still do it with these really lovely uh, awnings, and they're covering, you'll notice if there's a lot of light, that would be coming in over here where the television side is. And it's not coming in because we have this amazing awning here. So these awnings um, are part of a three piece awning package. There's also one over the door, really, really clutch and keeping your coach cool when you're camping. Um, so now for our next trick, Jody and I have figured out that a lot of people really wanna know, okay, I have all these kids, can I go potty? Let's take a look and see how the coach looks with it, with it all pulled in. So I've already pulled the rear bedroom in and I'm gonna go ahead and pull in these front two slides. 
So that's really simple. Um, you can see we've got quite a bit of space in this coach. Um, Jody, I don't know if you've been able to kind of pan back and show what it looks like when I'm not in the way, um, but a lot of room. Um, this is a great control panel. As you can see, uh, we have the WineGuard SK300 satellite system. You'll need to provide your own receivers, but it is wired for that satellite already. We also have a Wi-Fi extender. Uh, you'll also note that we have uh, our really nice touch control that shows you fresh water, black water, gray water tanks. And then here we have all of our, our slides. So these awnings, we can just retract them. I'm gonna leave them out until we've done our walk through the outside. Um, but so your inverter, everything is really nicely labeled here. And then if I just push in, you can go ahead and show them how this is gonna raise up, Jody. It's kind of cool. So this is really where we are a difference maker. Um, without this technology of being able to hydraulically raise and then roll in these slides, you couldn't have a tileless RV. This is really what makes the difference. And it's also the reason that the bed floats in the back because the tile or the, the slide just slides right underneath that overhang of the bed. So it's really, really uh, quite spectacular. So here we go. Now we're all the way in and take a look at this slide. I mean, talk about something that looks bulletproof. What a really nice uh, level of quality provided by Numar. So let's go ahead and bring this other door slide slide in. And then Jody will kind of show you what it looks like for me to walk back and forth. Now keep in mind, this is gonna give you enough room not only to have comfortable walking space to use the facility, but the kids could also watch a movie. Um, and you can turn on your generator. I've had the generator running the whole time. It's so, it was so cold this morning when I, I got here, I didn't feel like plugging it in. So I'm just going off of generator power right now. Um, it is pre-wired for solar, so you could add solar panels to it if you'd like. Um, that's really inexpensive. We do them here, we use ZAMP. Um, but so as you can see, plenty of room to walk down through the middle of the coach. You still have access to have the kids do the dishes while you're driving. You always have to have those little boogers working. Um, but yeah, so now I'm all the way through. And if I want to use the restroom, here I am. So uh, easy access for everybody while you're driving. You're not you know, stuck at the front of the coach with nowhere to go. Uh, access to the sink, all of your cabinets. You could open and close your refrigerator. Um, you have access to all of your pantry items. So this is a really, really nice feature of this coach. Lots and lots of accessibility. Um, and so I think that, you know, there are some things that we need to make sure we cover. You've got 105 gallons of fresh water on this RV. Uh, you've got a 65 gallon gray water tank and a 45 gallon sewage tank. On the 2021, they do go up by 10 gallons each for the 65 goes to 75 and the sewage tank goes to 55. But honestly, 45 gallons of of uh, sewage tank is more than enough and 55 65 gallons of gray water is as much as you find in most really nice upscale coaches uh, once again this is a dutch star uh, the interior that we're looking at here i know we talked about the bermuda glazed matte finish on these cabinets um and i don't i don't know if i showed those to you but you do have three more there um, but we are in the sedona decor on the inside so this is called sedona it's a lovely, lovely interior. And we're gonna go outside and take a look at the C Pearl graphics. Um, let me make sure we covered everything. Eurodinette, residential refrigerator, dishwasher, central vac by Dirt Devil, really large two pantry system, heated floors, power shades, three ACs, uh, continuous hot water. Um, so we didn't talk about hydronic heating. This coach has hydronic heating and that induction uh, is part of a package so you've got true induction which means if you have your coach plugged into a sewer system and a water system at a campground you literally have unlimited hot water uh, so you can use the oasis system and take a shower for three days that's a little bit extreme but you know you get the point across and when i say a hot shower 
I mean a really hot shower with nice, uh, nice hot water pressure. Uh, keep in mind, one of the things I've learned uh, in doing this is if you have, uh, keep, a, keep a whole house water filter with you um, because if you keep that water filter clean, you'll have better water pressure and whenever you notice it starts to wane. If you're using well water, uh, those tend to get clogged up and that could be a reason. So just a little food for thought, some extra information, um, some extra storage. Why not? It's on both sides, right here at the front of the coach. Keep your water bottles down there. I don't care, whatever you want. Um, let's talk about this front cabin here. So, okay, we talked about above. I'm gonna go ahead and close that up. Let's talk about our steering wheel here. So, really nice, you've got these buttons. So you've got things, you can turn your windshield wipers on at the touch of a button, you're not reaching down for a stock control. Um, when you turn this on, it's really cool. Let's go ahead and stop that generator now that we're all plugged in. Uh, when you turn it on, it says it's a Freightliner custom chassis, but I love this gauge outlay. It's really, really classy. Parking brake, super easy to get to. When uh, The big mirrors are easily adjusted right here. They're power mirrors. Uh, big cup holders, which is also a really nice feature. And then here you have your Allison transmission. This is a six-speed Allison transmission. Um, this is a 450 horsepower coach with 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. So great for towing. You have a tag axle, which is awesome. If you want less bounce on your drive and a better turning radius, that's what you're gonna get in this Dutch Star. Uh, you've got your hydraulic leveling system. And then I love that these guys went ahead and sprung for the power window. Really nice to have a window uh, here at the front for the driver. Um, and then here we've got the random McAnally uh, navigation system. Uh, it has the same thing where you can turn your left signal on and it'll show you the left hand side of the coach. The right signal on the bullet camera will show you the right side of the coach. This is a serious satellite radio prep coach. That's an important feature to mention because that is not a standard feature. And when you're going across country, it's really nice to have. Now we're going to talk here a little bit about comfort drive. Um, you'll notice this comfort drive adjustment. Um, what is comfort drive? Comfort drive keeps you from having to fight the wind with the wheel. Uh, the natural position for this coach is straight. So when you get on the road and you go straight, this coach will help you tag that line so that you're not feeling like you're really pulling while you're driving down the street. It's gonna make it a lot more comfortable for you to stay straight. Um, comfort drive is something that differentiates Newmar from every other coach in the marketplace. Um, so down here, adjustable pedals, kind of nice. You've got your visor and shade settings, really easy. Um, so just a really nice, very simple cockpit here. A little place to keep your wallet, maybe your cell phone. Um, but great dual screen. And then above us, of course, if it's game day and you're a Browns fan, you would have been watching that game yesterday. Uh, sorry, Steelers. But anyway, had to say it. Uh, yeah, so congratulations to a team that hasn't won, uh, won a game like that for a long time. Let's take a look here at the SIP cover. And this is important because people have pets. You have a dog. You want your, dog, your puppy to be able to hang out with you and sit at your feet. Or if you just want comfort, it's just a really nice, super solid step cover. Uh, really easy to operate. Just in and out. You will notice that there's really nice handles on both sides to get in and out of this coach. Um, once again, we're just going to look at a little bit of additional storage. And then again, I know we mentioned this before, but you do have the power shade system here. Thermostats right here, really easy to get to. So when you do land and you're ready to start camping, uh, you can turn all your patio lights on. You can unlock your baggage compartments right here. You've got your battery disconnect. It's really, really easy to get to. Big cup holders, a fire extinguisher, really, really comfortable flex steel furniture here um, with adjustable seat belts. Just a really, really nice coach. I love that I can turn all the lights on and off here. Uh, this is also where I would control the front, the front floor heat. So again, you've got three zones of floor heat in this RV. Um, so let's go ahead and come outside and take a look at some of the features we have out here. Uh, on our way out, we're gonna talk about this really nice screen door. Kind of show you how that works. And you can see we have the awning out once again. But I love that you have this nice plexiglass cover so you can keep everything covered. Uh, this does retract, so if you want it to be open, it could open. But you've got a place to keep the bugs out. Really easy to reach in. 
reach out with that little cover there. Um, and then of course you've got your locking system here. So you can change it to your own coat so you can lock your coach and you have a doorbell. It's just a really nice feature. If someone wants to stop by in the morning, they push your doorbell, they're gonna ring the bell, give you a chance to get your robe on. Um, really nice step system, classy chrome covered. Uh, here's your bullet light. Um, again, the 4327 is what we're looking at today. And here's that awning package that we were talking about. So you'll notice the slide covers are in, but we have a really large Gerard uh, dual awning that we could put out as well with a remote. Uh, you do have a dual fill uh, tank here. So really nice. You can fill up on both sides, get back on the road nice and quickly. Uh, you've got a 2.3 liter Dometic freezer. And this compartment is for drinks, and then the rest of it's a freezer. It's a little bit different. There's a dual side in the 2021 where it can be both a refrigerator and a freezer. This is just a freezer with a small refrigerated unit. Um, these are just important differentiations to make. I would hate for you to put everything in here thinking it wasn't going to freeze and have, I don't know, I like Pellegrino. I have blown up bottles all over the place. <laughs> um, it's nice. It's on the slide out compartment here. We like that. Um, so as you can see, this coach has all of the uh, slides and they have all of the equipment. Um, they have, these are the, the hammocks for the patio. Uh, they have extra tile here. Uh, this is a leveler system for the leveling jacks. Um, just a really nice, uh, you know, previous owner that's left the things that they thought would be important, probably gotten them for themselves on their next coach. Um, but you know, these slides have like a thousand pound capacity on them. So you can put your barbecues on them, um, put your, ha your patio hammock on them. As you can see here, you could really, really have um, a really large Weber, for instance, all of your uh, reclining chairs. Um, and I want you to note that these are super simple, so you can load them up from either side and they're lightweight, so you don't have to really struggle to lift things. And because of how long they are, you can load them with the slides still extended or unload them. So if you get somewhere and you want to get your slides out, go to sleep, you don't have to put them in the next day to get access to those compartments. They're really easy to access with the slide system. So um, nice storage trays. There we go. Um, this is a manual system if you needed to put your slides in manually. That's what that's for if anyone wanted to know. And then here's your Dirt Devil. So we talked about the fact that it was inside. This is where it is on the outside. This is accessibility. And then also I just love that Numar puts these outlets in all of these compartments. So if you want to run your blender, <laughs> bam! Margarita's on the patio while we're watching the game. Speaking of watching the game, here's your, you've got a Bose soundbar out here, a Wi-Fi based Bose soundbar. So you could put your phone on and listen to music. You could watch the game. A lot of people go, oh my gosh, isn't this too low? Well, if you're sitting down, it's actually really nicely shaded. It's the perfect spot for it. You've got your Dometic or your, uh, your Gerard awnings out. I mean, this is like a party waiting to happen. What a great RV for taking the whole family out, especially with all the sleeping accommodations. Um, okay, so here we go. Michelin's, right? Really nice big tag axle. That pivot that you're gonna get is gonna give you a better uh, turning radius, easier to park, easier to maneuver. But you know, it acts kind of like a cantilever, so almost like a seesaw. If you hit a bump, you've got a rear tire that's gonna keep you from feeling that jarring boosh. So if you're towing, you know, all these coaches can flat tow. This can flat tow 10,000 pounds um, really easily. But the thing is, is that do you feel it? And this is one of the nice features. Anytime you get into these tag axles, it really gives you a nice, solid, uh, soft drive down the road. Um, here's where we would put in our um, deaf fluid. And I want to show this to you. It's a little scratch. Um, we're not going to send it to the body shop for this. We could definitely touch it up for you. But, you know, when you're looking at a used coach, you kind of want to know what you need to watch out for. There's very little uh, blemishes on this RV. This is a great, uh, great example of a very nice 
RV that you'd want to be able to pick up uh, for a lot less than it would cost you to buy a new one. Um, so you have that in this coach, but I do think it's nice to kind of be made aware of some of the things that you might find when you come out to see it. Uh, of course, you can come, you can call me. I can make a video for you, like up close of anything that I see in terms of imperfections, um, just in case you'd like to, you know, have a little bit more of a view of it uh, up close and personal before you fly out. So, or drive out if you've got a nice motorhome. We like trade-ins right now. We, we are really needing pre-owned inventory, so please let us know. Um, but so anyway, as you can see back here, you know, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque, 450 horsepower. That's why you get a Dutch Star. It's why you take that step up from the Ventana. Uh, you've got what you need here to pull. You've got that beautiful Newmar trademark mud flap underneath. And then above, of course, you've got this beautiful uh, paint job. Again, this is going to be uh, the... Uh, Sea Pearl graphics with your rear view camera up there. Uh, loud and proud, you are in a Newmar Dutch Star. We really, really take a lot of pride uh, in the product that we put together for you. Uh, we are, this is a, on the Freightliner chassis. Um, and then of course, we love the fact that, you know, it's little details that really make the difference in a coach. Um, so for instance, you have dual fill. Um, on this for your def tanks as well as your fuel tanks. Um, it's not a big deal, but it's it's kind of it's kind of a big deal. You also have a nice place to stow your sewage uh, hose. So if you want to keep your sewage hose here instead of keeping it in your uh, gray water and, and black water uh, cabin, you can actually keep it here away from everything else. And then you'll notice that we have the whole house water filter. That's what I mentioned to you earlier. Uh, where you are going to want to be able to change this out from time to time. It's very easy to access. Your hose would drop right through here to the end, to the bottom. And then this is your power retractable hose reel right here. Um, and then also you have an outdoor shower. So just a nice feature there. Um, this is a really, really uh, customer friendly setup. You don't have to be a genius to figure out how to dump your tanks and how to get back on the road. If you want to hit the road and go camping for the first time and you want to make sure you're going to really have a great experience, uh, this pre-owned price point is a really attractive feature to a lot of people and the Dutch Star is a really luxurious way to come into Newmar and make your life easy. So if you are, if, and if you are upgrading, I mean, then you know what a fine this is. This is a gem. Uh, so power hose reel once again, um, a, little comp a little compartment here. I'm not going to reel it in today but you can see it goes right here and then because you can push this into that little hole, you can close your compartment, hit the road, go camping, everything is locked up. You've got power door locks here so you could use a little remote to lock your doors. Here is that Oasis system. This is what gives you your hydronic heat and your endless hot water system. So uh, not only do you have your heat pumps, but that hydronic heat replaces your furnace. It's going to be a glycol mix that kind of goes through a tube that gets really hot. And then the warm air blows out over the top of it. Very nice, quiet way to keep your coach warm, keep you comfortable at night, especially if you're out there in the desert where those temperatures just drop. Um, so I know this is kind of redundant because we already saw them, but once again, this is a really big full full slide here. So if I want to come in and get something out after I've come out the next day, it's nice that I have such a big amount of uh, space that comes out from underneath the slide if I do have those slides pop. So really easy to load, really easy to operate. I promise you these are heavy. I can't tell. <laughs> it just goes right in and out. There's no hassle to it. It's super simple to operate. Uh, there's the back side of our patio hammock. And I said hammocks, and that's good because you know if you've got two little ones in those bunks, they're going to be fighting over who gets to use a hammock. It does come as a single or double option. So this person was very smart and thought to get two because there's no way you want Bobby and Sally arguing over who gets the hammock, right? All right. Happy kids, happy life. All right, I'm going to get going. So then here we have our um, battery. And you'll notice these are pinned in, so I'm not going to pull them out. But it's really nice that you have everything's on a slide to come out. Keep in mind, anytime it's easier for you to uh, have access to things that need to be replaced or fixed, it's less shop time. And then on the other side of this, again, second fill. Um, 
And then I wanted to point this out. You know, what's important to you in history? Longevity? Um, someone who's been in manufacturing for a long time, someone who's had this passion for a long time. This Dutch star is a 50 year anniversary model. Um, what that means to you? That means that we've been manufacturing RVs for 50 years. That is really impressive. That's a lot of time to learn, a lot of time to get better, a lot of time to, to create memories, to make dreams with families year after year, um, a lot of time to go camping. So I really think that that's very impressive. Uh, these are just gonna be more of those bays that are once again really well outfitted, really clean, nice example of craftsmanship by Numar. Um, and then here you have your bullet lights. And look at this amazing windshield. You have so much view. Uh, really great visibility for the driver and for the passenger. Take a look at the United States. I love, you know, there's been a lot of hard times because of COVID, but one thing that's really happened for us is that we've learned that we have parks, we have things that we can do here in the US. We have amazing vistas that we've never seen. We always thought we had to jump on a play and go to Cozumel to have a good time. And this Numar will take you through an amazing country. The United States of America has so much to offer. This is such a way, great way to see the country. Um, the Freightliner uh, chassis that this is built on has got a great support system. Numar has a great support system. We have Noogle. Uh, we have email addresses. You can email DutchStar at Numar.com and have questions answered. You can call us. We have a gentleman by the name of Bill who answers his phone whenever you have questions to answer about how to maybe do something that you forgot that you had during your two hour orientation that comes with the purchase of every coach. Um, so please give me a call. Let me know how we can help this become one of your dreams. Um, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Thank you so much for letting me take a little bit of extra time today. There was a little extra furniture. That was my surprise. Uh, the bunk model is really cool, uh, but I wanted to show you, you know, what we had to offer. And again, this unit's going to go fast. This is 5U-201-504. Again, 5U-201-504. You are here at Trans West Frederick in beautiful, sunny, freezing cold Colorado. <laughs> uh, please. Let us help you find your next dream vacation on the road. Thanks so much for tuning in.